Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the mid-monthly love reading for mid-February through mid-March 2022, Libra Sun, Moon Rising, Venus Signs, and Cross Watchers. These readings are for self-love as well as romance and relationships, so you may resonate with one, the other, or both. What is the guidance for Libra, please? So mid-February through mid-March. All right, so we have Shadow King. Okay, someone dealing with some shadow issues healing we have leo and i'm gonna pull one more what else please for libra okay so we have a couple more that came out here all right interesting so we have sage introvert and then we have cancer hmm very interesting all right cancer definitely can be on the introvert side but we have this moon here okay leo full moon is actually today while i am recording so that may be significant for some of you all right um sage so needing to go within okay wise advice sage and especially introvert so somebody here may be going deep working on their shadow issues right now okay that can be part of the issue all right so i'm gonna pull one for the main guidance before I go any further with those cards and three for the situation. I want to see how these tie in. So main guidance for Libra, please. All right. Yeah. Five of cups, definitely working on some shadow stuff here. Five of cups is about focusing on what's been lost or what is lost, so to speak, rather than what there is to gain or what still exists. All right. So mindset definitely is part of this. Five of Cups is like feeling like the victim of something. Um, definitely can be feeling down and out. So let me pull three for the situation. All right. So we've got the lovers. So yeah, representative of needing to make some major life decisions. And it's also representative of stepping into alignment. Okay. With who you are, who you're becoming what you want, what it is that you desire, and a balance of the masculine, the feminine energies. Knowing when you need to pull back, knowing when you need to charge forward. Okay, the nine of wands represents the main challenge at this point. And it is feeling challenged by life or circumstances. We have the magician, manifestation. You are the creator so you can create your realities in a way and I feel like some of it has to do with some major changes that need to be made. Ace of Cups, an opportunity for overflowing happiness, abundance, but I feel like confidence is really key to this. Definitely confidence. So let me clarify that Five of Cups. Five of Cups, please, for Libra. All right, the sun. So the sun is beautiful. It trumps everything. So if you've been feeling down and out for a while, the sun is here. It's going to illuminate. It's saying stay positive. Focus on optimism and happiness. Focus on positive thoughts. Positive thoughts create a positive reality, right? There are some things, yeah, they need to be processed. They need to be dealt with. But I do feel like there's definitely some of that depression here. And I think that with the sun energy, that you're going to be feeling an improvement. Things are going to have a turnaround. But I also think part of this is making decisions in your life that bring you happiness. So let's clarify the lovers. Take a look at the lovers energy for Libra. And the sun also represents Leo. So that may be very significant. All right. So the sun. All right. So we have the lovers. So we have temperance, page of wands, five of wands, two of pentacles. All right. So temperance is definitely needing to have more balance and moderation in your life. All right. And if there has been a lot of arguments or a lot of disagreements, I feel like that's what's creating a lot of it. Like there seems to be some drama here. Maybe that's been unfolding. And with the page of wands, five of wands, I see that as communication arguments. Um, 
definitely there's an imbalance here. This is what needs to be fixed. This is what needs to be helped. All right, so two of pentacles, sometimes things are up, sometimes things are down. But with temperance, yeah, there definitely, I feel like, needs to be a change there. So that is bringing in more balance into your life. However that needs to happen, however you resonate with this. All right, and I want to take a look at the Ace of Cups. Yeah, five of pentacles. So again, there's that lack of, that feeling of sadness. You know, you may appear happy on the outside, but what's on the inside is very different in regards to the situation. So you could be dealing with somebody who is also going through this. I want to pull some oracle cards. I'm going to pull three from this deck and three from the other, both the Island Time Wellness decks. But this is more generalized. Messages, the other is love. Yeah, definitely. So serenity, really, really important. This card came out for somebody else as well. Um, taking care of your vibration, positive environment, clear space, chakra, energy balancing. Exactly. So maybe some Reiki, some energy clearing, right? Chakra clearing and balancing. You need more serenity in your life. Some energy needs to be cleared because that's definitely the message that's been coming through, especially with temperance. So for some of you, however that needs to be done, massage, Reiki, we've got visualization. See yourself achieving the highest possible outcome, experience the feeling and the details. So yeah, that's like the magician energy. So definitely, I think some energy work here would be very helpful. All right magic in pretending so once again that's like visualization visualize the ideal situation be detailed play the part see as manifested speak it into existence be certain so that's that confidence the magician energy right instead of feeling in the five of cups energy clearing that in living in the magician energy knowing that you can manifest having the confidence taking the next steps. Gratitude increases attraction and opportunities. Little things count. Be grateful for what you have in your life. So that's being grateful for what you have, right? Just like the five of cups. This is what you have. Be grateful for that rather than what's been lost or what needs to go. Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving. All right, and two more, please. So we have a couple here. All right, heartbroken, cassette, paradise. Yeah, so deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. Five of cups again. And then we have cassette. All right, so outdated thinking or conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So the message is very clear here. Definitely needs to be a clear out. I feel like mentally and emotionally in our happiness, staying positive and optimistic and knowing that you can create your reality to a degree. But I feel like right now, like that heavy energy just needs to go. And if you can focus on that, like temperance, that energy clearing, you're going to feel very different. So I think that would be really helpful for whoever resonates with this. I hope that you guys have an amazing month ahead. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.